wild horses couldn't keep me away. What up, YouTube? Nate here. Hopefully everyone's doing good. We miss you guys. Well, I miss you anyways. I'm sure Ian and Lester miss you too. I'm shooting this video kind of like during our winter break. I, I picked up some things at the local dollar store here, which I thought was really like poignant that I should tell you guys in case if you're up in Canada or maybe in the States, I don't know, you could check it out for yourself. At our local Dollaramas here in Canada, they've recently increased the prices, like the most expensive items are three bucks. Now they're four dollars, which is another sign of the apocalypse. Donald Trump! They recently got better items. Like you saw the one review I did on that Crisis 3 uh, Profit Collectible Bust Limited Edition, which I thought for four bucks was amazing. They had books books oh yeah today sorry i wanted to bring back headbutt coffee if you don't know what headbutt coffee is it was my like video blog where i just sit down and talk to people while drinking my coffee good morning everybody it's morning right now but yes today the topic of today's video are video game related books a waste of space a waste of shelf space same way that collectible editions are usually the hype is when you first get them, and then when you had them for a while, you're like, oh, no one's going to buy this off me, and I don't want it anymore. Case in point. This sucker here. A lot of hype into this box, but as you guys may know, the people who actually bought this when it came out, as you may know, this was a pretty weak collector's package. The only... Redeeming benefit was that review statue right there. Basically, you were paying for an incomplete, incomplete, incomplete game that I had to wait till summer to get the, the story mode. And by then, I almost didn't care anymore. Let me know, like, are there a lot of collector's editions games that you bought? You're like, man, this wasn't worth that 30% markup premium, you know? It has really, to me, changed the way I think about getting games. Like, it just seems I have a higher chance of buyer's remorse with collector's editions than I do with just buying like the physical copy of the game. And that's another topic we're going to talk about in season six throughout the year. This whole concept of physical media. If you've been following us for a long time, you know that uh, we've been all about keeping physical media alive. Some of us in the group, you'll have to stay tuned to the season, have, uh, you know, the bullet to physical media. And there's a lot of pros. There's a lot of cons. Let me know your thoughts in the comment below. What do you think? Physical media. One thing I am a sucker for is hardcover books. I don't know why. Art books, I love art books. Even though like I, I crack them open once and I never crack them open again, you know what I mean? At my local Dollarama, four bucks. Look at this. This is a hardcover. Final Fantasy uh, Type O HD. Type Zero? I don't know. I bought this for Ian. I got it. You see that? Four dollars. It's a hardcover. It's, you know, it's still sealed. I thought that was a good deal for four bucks. I was, I was, I was very surprised. Probably the best one of the lot because I am such a sucker for Laura Croft. Four bucks, collector's edition Laura Croft book. See on the inside there it comes with. A, I thought it was a necklace, but it's a keychain. Hold on, let that focus. I thought it was a necklace, but it's a keychain for like what is that? The. Uh, Climbing axe. I'll sit here the whole video and just do this. The climbing axe uh, from Rise of the Tomb Raider. Which I haven't played it actually. You also got the uh, Assassin's Creed Unity Strat Guide. Well, technically it's an employee handbook. I don't know if it's a strategy guide. Look at that. I don't think this is a strategy guide as much as it's just like a concept book. You got stuff like that in there. Very nice. You got like leaflets like that, which look really cool to me. I think this is more of like, if you want to immerse yourself in the Assassin's Creed Unity game, you know, this has like stories on specific characters, uh, their motivations, concept art, sketches, Art from the video game. The hell is that? You know, I think that's from Call of Duty. Right? That's a Call of Duty patch, isn't it? Is that from Call of Duty? There was a Call of Duty strategy guide there that I didn't pick up because I hate Call of Duty. I think that's a Call of Duty Ghosts patch. 
For four bucks each, I thought these were really cool books. It was such a good deal, I thought I, I should buy second copies of each book. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I bought a second copy of each book. The Final Fantasy one, one of those is going to, obviously, my homie Ian. Uh, the Assassin's Creed one is going to Bakuya Boy. But let me, like, do you guys keep these books? You guys and girls, obviously. Do you have a special place in your, whatever you store your video games or what have you? Do you have, like, a shelf for books and stuff like that? Strategy guides? Four bucks? What do you think? These are regularly $45 for this book. Full retail. Thank you, Dollarama. Thank you very much. To be honest, I, I kind of cleared out my local Dollarama here. They only had two copies of each book. Okay, there you go. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Again, it comes with the keychain in the back there. And it looks like the second book. What's in this? There's like two books there. What is that second part? Okay, first thing you get here, you get the nice hardcover book, which is glorious. And this really is just straight up strategy guide, right? Like you got maps, you got, uh, it says you have, like you got maps, you got, you know, specific techniques to get certain parts, get through certain parts of the game. And it came with this thing in the back. I thought it was a book, but it's like an envelope thing. It's like, I don't know, we'll see. The keychain's right there. I swear, if this whole thing is just to hold that keychain, that's weak. Literally, that, that's just... That, that's, there's no book in here or anything. Honestly, as a retro video game fan, this, this reminds me of if you've played Faxandu or Fazandu. Uh, I think it's called a Maddock? Maddock? It's like the thing to break walls <laughs> at a certain part of the game. This is what that reminds me of. So to me, this is... Fazandu or Faxandu Maddock as opposed to Laura Croft's climbing axe. That's kind of disappointing though. This whole thing. Look at all this packaging to hold this very well crafted, I think, metal keychain from Tomb Raider. The first ever headbutt coffee for 2017 is in the can. I'm sorry, this is a very weak video. I had a very loose topic when I started this video. I swear in the future they'll be more engaging, more interesting topics but today it was about strategy guys from the dollar store that's for sure anyways thank you guys very much for watching please i asked a bunch of questions if you want to answer any of them please leave a comment in the comments below if you have any questions leave a comment in the comments below check me out on nate's reviews links to that will also be in the description below let me know what you thought about these books a lot of hardcover books this is a lot of shipping weight right here i'll give them away 90 dollars. you know what we sent a prize package to australia 90 American dollars. That's a lot of money for, for a package. Our friend Anthony did make a video about it, so I will encourage you to watch it. I'll put a thumbnail of it there. And I'll also put a link in the description below. So you can find Anthony's video. It was pretty funny, actually, because we added a bunch of like stuff in there. I'll let you figure out when you watch it. What's the shelf padding in that pickup? What's the maple syrup? And what's the no cheaps in that video? Let him know in the comments below. Let him know we sent you. Thank you guys very much for watching us. Season 6 is coming soon. I'm leaving you with this teaser video. It seems like only yesterday that I found you guys languishing in obscurity and attempted to assist you in your elevation to YouTube greatness.